some people say, and it is true, we need to have more um, equity in terms of access to schools. But what we found in our infrastructure work is that if you don't have clean sanitation facilities, if you don't have toilets, and many schools don't have toilets in, in the, the poor areas of the world, girls, when they're having their period, will not go to school. And so having that simple intervention of making sure there are adequate um, sanitation facilities in schools will have a big impact on women's access to education and there to productivity. Recently, the woman that really sticks out in my mind is not a famous woman. It's not a woman that you're going to read about in the newspaper. It was a woman in India. Uh, we went to go visit a microfinance project. And she had used microfinance in the first instance to improve the lot of her family, to um, basically uh, get some income for the family, to help send her children to school, to help um, others um, in her village uh, really raise their incomes. But she didn't stop there. Um, she banded together with other women in the area, and they put in place, like small entrepreneurs, a clean water facility. And it was providing clean water using the highest tech but very affordable technologies for her village, and they were selling it to the village next door. So it was entrepreneurship, it was collaboration, it was um, really investing in the future. It was fantastic. you have to take two um, attacks. One is to look at the special vulnerabilities that women face, whether that is um, a lack of access to schools, lack of access to, to um, reproductive health services and the like. And, and those are very discreet, um, important activities that can be done at the country level. I think um, government has a role to play. I think uh, communities have a role to play, as does the private sector. But I also think that we need to start thinking about women as assets. We know that when women have voice and participation, and it often comes from being in the workplace, that outcomes are better, that societies make better choices. So think about it both in terms of women, in terms of their assets, as well as how do you bring them forward? How do you um, try to close the gaps on areas where they are particularly vulnerable?